focus. So Ramsey and I are sitting on the couch. She's so funny. So she's getting a little bit more comfortable. I've got some anxiety TV for pets on. I'm hoping that the music will sort of help calm them. Oh, okay, she's getting frisky, surprisingly. She's hiding now. I, I just saw her butt disappear. Oh, she just popped her head back out. I've been um, here alone for about, I think an hour? It's been an hour? I don't even know what time it is in this house. Yeah, it's been about an hour. She's been sort of warming up to me. I've been playing with her and then she sort of does this thing where like I'll be playing with her with like her toy. This. I'll be playing with her with this thing. And she loves it. But then she'll suddenly realize that I'm the one controlling it and she doesn't know who I am. So then she kind of realizes that she's forgotten herself. But I do want them to get along. I just oh she's moving she's moving behind me okay all right she's going on this side okay surprisingly she's the scared one when she's the one who yells at everybody all right so she's gonna settle here Binksy is over here i went and bought tang suyuk today the sauce is in here i've got gangpeng oh i've got gangpeng chicken i also got jajangmyeon which i ate some already i got jjampong I got very emotional eating this thinking of my grandmother and I just missed her a lot and I have been feeling very um, teary like I feel like I'm about to cry now we would go to a Chinese uh, Korean Chinese fusion restaurant and eat this with my grandmother I was just so grateful to be able to eat this and first of all to be able to buy it and afford it and eat it and just thoroughly enjoy it. I even turned the TV on. I just ate it in silence and just enjoyed myself. I've been trying to be gluten free, but not, but trying not really because I've been so lazy lately. It's just like, oh, it's okay. This time is okay. This time is okay. And then all those times just like accumulate. So I did eat gluten during this meal. And um, I'm really gonna, after this Thanksgiving, I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to buckle down again eat better, exercise regularly. I have been relying on golf for my exercise, which is also good because it's a lot of walking. I'm feeling very grateful for this right now in this moment. I miss my grandmother and yeah, it's just a nice, I just feel very nostalgic and just like misty. out of the cupboard just now. Time to say goodbye <laughs> to Ramsey's original food bowl and water bowl when I first moved into this apartment. Sad, I'm getting teary. Isn't that weird? She's over there sleeping, so she doesn't even care about me being sad about her bowls. <laughs>
driving to my sister's right now. We're gonna do a quick photo shoot. I don't know if you can see this this rug right here. My neurofeedback therapist gave that to me. It's too big for my apartment, so I have to donate it. Sorry, Ramsey. Are you comfortable? I had to tell my sister that I'm in some crazy traffic right now, so I don't even know. And now my lash is bothering me, and I, I can feel my lash doing something funky. I haven't done a vlog in a while. I found this Korean vlogger named Eol, and I really like her. Like, she never shows her face. They're so soothing to me because they are mostly silent, and she'll speak sometimes. Oh, that's a cute dog. Mostly it's like her studying or eating, cooking. So whenever I'm super stressed out, I'll turn on one of her vlogs. I think that that's how we're living right now. We're, we're slowing way down. We're working on trying to find peace in the new pace of things. Because I'm such an anxious person, I avoid like being in silence for too long because I start overthinking things and I start getting into this like, into this like negative feedback loop in my head. So I'm always like trying to keep myself busy, but I really want to learn how to slow down and be okay with the quiet and just be okay with just sitting and eating a meal mindfully. I just want to like learn how to take my time. And it's weird because once I start a task too, I tend to rush through it. So it's like I want to stay busy and I want Especially at home, I just, I want to stay busy, but then I rush through all my tasks because I want to get it over with. And then I'm just like right back to where I started. I'm still not working. I'm taking some online courses. I have applied for jobs. Just spending a lot of time at home. We're golfing because that's outdoorsy. I got burnout from my job. I think that's what really caused my anxiety to flare up. I feel like since I've been laid off, I've just been like just resting from the burnout and every time I have the thought of going back to work or like interviewing or whatever as an anxious person um, it freaks me the hell out I don't even want to think about it and so kind of in a pickle I found this great Instagram account his name is anxiety Josh and he's a therapist in the UK and he's amazing ever since I found him it has totally changed the way that I think about my anxiety. I also have a lot of debt and I'm like, I can't pay off my debt if I don't have a job. It's this vicious cycle. So I am still working. I'm still working on my mental health and just changing the way I think. I'm still going to neurofeedback therapy. I'm still working with my functional doctor. I am still trying to take my vitamins and supplements consistently. So many things I'm still doing. I understand that this is a very long journey and I can't rush it, but I truly can't wait until I feel like I'm on the other side. Right now, it feels like I'm on my way. I've been getting like acid reflux or heartburn lately. And my boyfriend's like, I think, I think it's just catching up to you. Like I'm so I'm 33 now, I'm gonna be 34 next month. I've never experienced heartburn, so it's very strange to feel it now. I'm taking it as a signal. I need to really watch what I eat. When I was uh, younger listening to women of a, of a mature age who would like eat something or avoid eating something and be like, oh man, I'm gonna feel that in the morning or I'm gonna be bloated for two days and I'm like, I get it now. I get it, ladies. Oh my God, yeah. It, I can look at something and I just know how my body is going to react to it and how it's going to look. Let me just say, I am very grateful for what I have. I'm very grateful for my life. And um, I am very much enjoying, as much as this year sucked, I'm very much enjoying um, how much this year forced a lot of truths to come out. All the things that you needed to face it was pushed into your face. It was, it was you had to face it. So that's what I have appreciated about this year, even though it felt shitty most of the time. I do have a lot of gratitude towards healing. Long chat, but oh god, I'm running out of gas. I have to go get gas now. I'll just get it later.